Welcome. Thanks for joining. It's Andrew from iDownloadBlog checking out what's new in watchOS 3 Beta 5. When a user would make a Siri request that involved a deleted app, it wasn't really behaving as it was supposed to. In Beta 5, that's been fixed, so Siri will now provide the intended response. Otherwise, there's not really anything too new on the actual watch side, but if you're a developer working inside of the watchOS simulator on the Mac, the debugging console used to print out excessive amount of logging indicating WC session state changes. That has been fixed and will no longer print out just a bunch of extra superfluous lines. So that's it. This is a tiny beta release and that's always a good thing because it means we're getting closer and closer to that stable final public build that's hopefully right around the corner. If you missed them, make sure to go back and check out all of our other watchOS 3 beta videos to see what's been changing along the way. Go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up to date with any new changes that come in the future. Please let us know down in the comments if you're excited for watchOS 3 or if it'll tempt you to getting a new Apple Watch. Otherwise, till next time, it's Andrew for iDownloadBlog.